how to do a design test of your labels and packaging in a real environment using augmented reality. So we are in Cinema 4D right now and I'm going to open a 3D model that I've created using Adobe Dimension. So we have the model right here. So I'm just going to open that up and I'm going to open it and we have the 3D model right here. We don't need the materials for it so I'm going to just go here and I'm going to delete that. So we just need the object uh, the, mo the model right here. You can use any 3D application for this. I'm using Cinema 4D. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my packaging label design right here. So I'm going to go to create a new material. And in the material uh, color, I'm going to load the label right here. So the label texture is right here. And now if you drag that to your object, you can see how the material is mapped into the object. This is not right because it's not in the right dimensions. So I need to change a couple of things in this. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to go to the length U and this. I'm going to just change uh, here. I can change. The design is fine right now. I can see it from all the sides and it's perfect right now. And this is the model that I want to export it and use it in uh, an augmented reality application. So to do that, I can also modify the texture a bit here. So for example, if I want to make it a little more reflective, I can go here. I can add a little more of reflectance here. And if I sort of reduce the reflection strength, I can, I can make a material into more reflective uh, sort of plastic or things like that. So I think this is fine. Once we have done that, we can export. The object is now ready to ex be exported into an augmented reality application. So I'm going to go to file and choose export the file. There are so many op you know, options for you to export this as. I'm going to export this as an FBX file. So I'm going to click on FBX and I can name my file. So I'm going to just name it model and I'm going to save it right here. So I have my FBX file here. What I'm going to do is now go to the augment website. I'm going to go to the zip file where all the files are ready. So uh, make sure that your zip file contains the materials as well. So if you go to read the guidelines here, you can see what are the formats which are supported and how do you embed materials into it. So um, everything is in this folder and I'm going to right click and compress the model into a zip file. So we have a zip right now. I'm going to click this and I'm going to choose our zip file and it's going to upload the zip file right here. This is going to ask your unit of 3D model so I'm going to change it to a centimeter and confirm the unit. So now we have uh, our model right here. So I can just go in and we can edit. So I'm going to save and publish this. Now uh, your file is ready and it's published, right? It is now available in your Augment app. So let's switch over to our mobile phone. Now we are in the phone. I'm going to choose the Augment app. We can open the model. You click on the model and it's going to open up your camera. Now you need to scan a surface, a flat surface, and click on the green marker there to place your model in real world. You can click on that, you can scale it using your two fingers and you can see your um, product right there in the real world. You can walk around it, you can see it from all angles, you can get close to the object and this is how you test your designs on real. Oh hey that's Major Hachiko right there and that's it. Hope you have enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you soon with another video. Till then, bye.